All right, welcome to Neko Nation Japan. Today, we're on the hunt for a deal in Japan real estate. I'm looking at a few properties I found online. Online, I found a few, as well as right here. So this is your typical Japanese real estate flyer. You can go to any Japanese real estate agent, and a lot of the times, these companies right outside the door, they'll have these little packets of individual properties they've selected out in order for you to take a look at it and see if there's anything interesting in the area. And they always have it posted around that. Now, I kind of think this method is a little inefficient because a lot of these times, these are a little bit out of date. So I've looked at a couple of these. I found one online that I really found interesting that you will find at the end of this video. Uh, I looked at this property. I looked at it over. I took some pictures and video of it. And I really think it's interesting. It's the cheapest property I've found so far, but it has some significant downsides that I'd like to show you right now. So let's get into this. The hunt for a deal in Japanese real estate. Japan real estate. Let's try this out, shall we? We're looking at a lot of different properties. So we go right over here. Uh, we're looking in the downtown Suida area and a few other areas surrounding that. Uh, I really found myself drawn to this area. I like it. It's a little bit city and there's still a little bit parks and some recreation. So what is important about Japanese property? So with our property analysis, first, we're going to look at distance to the station. In Japan, it's all about the stations because majority of the traffic, where you're going to go is all dictated by what station you are close to, how close you are to that station, and how is it easy to get to the big epicenters of Osaka, of Tokyo, wherever you are. If you're way out in the country, you probably need a car, or if you're kind of far away from a station, you may need a car as well. But most of these ones are pretty close. There's a few that are kind of far. I'm going to try to keep myself close to it. So I'm looking for investment property stuff I can make a you know some decent cash flow on whether I'm going to move into this property or not we'll see but let's take a look at a few of these to give ourselves an idea of what's available and what we're looking for in a property so definitely distance to the station uh, the age in years uh, how old it is a lot of the time your cheaper property is going to be old but it also comes with the land so maybe five ten years out you're going to want to tear it down and completely rebuild and that might allow you to put on a few more units or decrease the size of the units in order to get more tenants more doors in the property but you know, like that said you don't want to make yourself a shoebox uh the price in yen now i might compare yen to us dollar just for ease of everyone out there uh it's going to be all in yen for the most part. I'm going to keep it that way just for myself. So I practice and I get down to exactly knowing what the numbers are, what they look like in Japanese yen. So I'll let you know in US dollars. The space, the space of this, the property and the building associated with this property. So in meter squared and this subo. Subo is a traditional unit or land area, so it's specific to the land in these properties. That's approximately 3.3 square meters per one Subo. So it's kind of a funky traditional unit of measure, but it's interesting nonetheless. It's something that comes up a lot, and so we need to definitely know it and understand it. Also, your location, where you want to be, where are you working, what's a good place, what's a bad place, always important. Now me being from america and i don't know the specifics of each location but the more i look at the property the more i get to learn about it right now we're going to look at last thing the layout see what kind of layout is it does it make sense is there you know a whole bunch of shoji doors the old paper doors is it need remodeling and a lot of them probably do is the the layout just all wrong is it super super tiny which we're gonna find that a lot this is japan after all let's get right into this property number one we're gonna look at the, the toyosu cho house uh this is nice house pretty decent layout we have wood floors in all of them this demoted here by this wood floors and everything that's really really rare so that you know it's been renovated recently because the majority of houses and properties apartments all that have tatami floors a lot of the time these tatami floors are certain areas so you see how many tatamis it is and it's a 
all of them are kind of delegated into tatami floors, which are a certain area size for each tatami mat. I would like wood floors, definitely. Whatever I own or property, I want to replace the tatamis because that is just the way everybody likes. Not as many people like the tatami floors anymore. If you're going really traditional route, then yes, all tatami floors, but they are very difficult to maintain and they're not as durable because literally it's like a straw that kind of breaks up and everything. So looking at this property, the Toyotsu house, uh, it's all wood floors, really good. We got smart parking for a car, two bath toilets anyways, one bathroom. It's really interesting, three floors, two balconies. It looks like a nice little property. We have some bedrooms upstairs. We have our like living room area on the second floor and our main lower floor has just inflow and I believe this is our, oh, this here's our Gankan. You're coming in and there's a kitchen on the second floor. It's really interesting the way they lay these houses out. Sometimes they're very Western traditional style or Western style or they're traditional like the kitchens on the second floor, a variety of this. It's really interesting. What you see here is a looks fairly new renovated building. It's either been rented or built recently. We'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, it looks very clean, very well put together. It's our three floors here. So we see here a nice little house, three floors. Obviously the footprint of this place is not very big. Almost fully renovated house, recently redone. It looks really good. It's not terribly old. It's definitely a little bit on the old side about 10 years old but it's recently redone it's still in pretty good condition although it is a very hefty price tag we'll get right into that later but let's take a look at it and see what it looks like from the inside all right we got this nice looking tub a recently redone bathroom uh heater all this very traditional japanese uh we have what looks to be a little sink here and tub and a nice pretty nice bathroom uh, we have our drain right here so you take that up you clean it very easily uh, which is quite a bit different than the one we have the tub is built in so all of the water ends up getting underneath and it just makes a mess which is hard to clean but we got a recently redone kitchen it's a nice little kitchen although there definitely isn't much counter space as you can see a little bit here a little bit there and built-in stove it looks like it's a little kitchen but it's not too bad it it definitely is a smaller house and there's very narrow so you don't have much room to work with but they seem to do in some of these rooms very nicely very well done although i'm not sure what they're trying to do with all these different textures and co like colors i don't know if this is just damaged or they're doing this to be trendy or whatever the case may be it it looks like the floors look great the walls look like they're in pretty good condition the obviously you need some curtains and stuff and that's the building right next door i'm assuming it's a nice little property i would that i would definitely want to go and walk around it if i was going to put the amount of they're asking down for it uh, all redone floors they look really nice the bathroom here this is the tub we just looked at relatively big bathroom or tub room if you will and the bathrooms are all the same they're just a room with a toilet in it and that's all that it is uh, as you see here the toilets are usually built in have a little sink on the top so you flush and then the water comes down to fill up the tank again you just wash your hands and you're on your way when it, when you say bathroom in Japan that's where you take a bath and toilet is where you use obviously the toilet and it really confuses everybody we should just say that looking for a bathroom in a uh what we see here is a nice little sink i'm not sure where this is located it's a little hard to tell uh, hmm. uh they these are very common these kind of the mirror and these nightstand setups we have our sinks the controls there nothing out of the ordinary it's kind of a big sink that just double doors there it's not too bad though uh wow so that's what it is the sink is right here and to our right of it 
is this washer machine now definitely almost there is no dryers in japan you might have a combination washer and dryer so the same thing then dries it after you but it's horribly inefficient in well or it's very efficient it just takes forever you may have it dry for like three or four hours and it gets it kind of dry so everybody in japan usually hangs out their clothes or puts it inside and turns the heater on if it's really cold or really wet out so we have right here we have this tub right here we have the sink and right in between it which is really awkward layout we have the washing machine uh, we have a little our gang con we have all these shows this is where we'll put our coats and this is a little uh shoe closet type thing and then you have it right here to put up any up anything you keep your keys or what have you right there by the door and then you always take your shoes off right here before you get into the house itself that is traditional japanese and that is really the way i we did that very similar when we lived in america we always took our shoes off at the door we rocked around the house in our socks or bare feet and they do that here in japan and you might have like house slippers or something like that where you walk around the house but and we go right around there you could literally see the toilet right there a little better outside view so this is your park where you the part of the house where you park obviously you need a little landscaping here maybe spruce it up a bit uh, front door looks nice all of it is relatively new condition there's always something going on here that would need to be addressed this could be uh, just set up for either the lights or if they're running a little wireless camera to see who's coming in whatever the case may be this would have to be addressed if you're looking to rent it out uh, this will be a little window of some sort leading into some room but they always have like a lot of these the lower ones to be able to shut this storm shutters or in this case maybe burglary shutters i'm not really sure why a lot of these cows have this uh, mostly down on the main this ground level floor so you can see them all here and so if there are any issues you just shut that and then you don't have to deal with your neighbors we're looking up here one of the bedrooms uh, i'm assuming this is on the second floor just in the way it came in images but unfortunately you can't really tell a lot of these it's very hard to tell what floor is which without actually walking through it yourself now i could sit here and look at the plans and figure out what it is but i'm going to assume it's on the second floor uh there the other room on the other side a little closet yeah there's a closet open nothing there's something on the floor here Let's see if it's there yeah it's there so i don't know if that's floor damage or something from the light could be either few little things left over from somebody else maybe we have a heater in this room and a little clock these are really nice rooms they're basic bedrooms nothing and that's all they had for the pictures on the inside now let's look at the particular property the land it comes with how much it's costing what are their important metrics first off distance to the station distance to the station the first metric we're interested in. so it's a nine minute walk all these are in walk times Obviously, if you have a car, you're going to drive wherever you're going to need to go. But a nice walk time. So nine minutes to Asaka Station. Now, that's a little on the far side. If it's 10 and over, a lot of people don't want to even look at it. Uh, it's about 10 years old. It's not bad as far as property goes. Uh, in Japan, you have a finite lifespan. You know, 10 is about as old as you want to get. You get between 20 and 30 years old. <laughs> And at that point, I'm 30 years old, it almost needs to be replaced. Now, looking at this particular place is to buy, with your buy price is 32 million yen, 32 million 800 thousand yen. So, what is that in US dollars? So, that would be you take away two of the zeros and then just from there, and you have 328 thousand yen. So $328,000 for this little house. You get a little bit of land. So your land is 71.95 meters squared. And the house comes out to be 104 meters so meters squared. And you got it because you have three floors. You get a little bit use, more use of the land space. And it's a nice little property over in Toyotsu Cho sweet osaka fu and it's going to be 
this property is a 4LDK. So what does that mean? So you have four rooms, a living room, dining room, and a kitchen. That's that's not bad, but obviously this is Japan. They're a little bit, they're tiny rooms, and it's okay. So we're gonna go on, see where we are. In this one, it didn't have a specific location. Some of these places don't do that. They don't give you exactly where it is. So I had to estimate, and you can find it in the comments below. I have a link to the property and the general area it's in all links provided below for each one of these five properties we're going to look at today so next we have the setsu higachi shojaku house oh that's a mouthful but this one's another three level property we have mostly we have wood floors there's this and that so it looks like we have one room here that's probably going to have your tatami floors, but we'll take a look at it, see if they have any nice pictures in as well. So we have here a kind of more small, narrower house. Uh, it's a nice, old, little, it's a little on the older side, and as such, it's a little reduced price, but we'll take a look at it and see what we. Uh, in, interesting inside so it's right butting up or near this little spacious area i couldn't find the exact location for this one but i have it nailed down to basically this view and allows it it's like right over here and we gotta narrow down to exactly where it is. so we have a little bit tighter kitchen like everything's built in you got a lot of built-in stuff versus our last house there was almost nothing built in you would have to get all this and almost exactly the same size kitchen and it's kind of ridiculous how small these are but it's a nice three burning gas stove almost everything is in gas here there's few very few the little, little tiny apartments will have your electric stoves and that we have these little tiny three burners that one looks like it definitely needs some cleaning and maybe replacement as far as that goes but it would definitely need to take a look at all this needs to be clean and if especially going to rent out the place make it look nice make it look fancy and you don't have to put that much money into it, but you definitely got to make it look clean. All right, we're taking a look at the outside. So you have here just a nice little garage and area. It looks like they've just hanged up all their laundry and they got a nice picture of it, which I don't know why some of these places do horrible real estate shots, but maybe there are people still living in it and they're trying to rent it out. So they just take a few pictures and call it a day. This is the back side of the property. So we have our one, two, three stories little tiny barred windows on the bottom now they have this lot in japanese property i don't think this is like the war in a great crime or anything but they definitely have it so this backs right up to this large area which you see a large field i don't know they're growing something or whatever i don't know exactly what it is but it's a nice very tiny foundation property so you see and they're not going to put anything anytime soon in the back and out the windows you see a skyline it's not a bad view um obviously the ones that you could actually see and it looks like our stucco may need some work there could be this tree coming over that they would definitely have to be looked and i would definitely run inspections on any of these so we have the one ac unit there and just just a long street going right up to your house and all in all it doesn't look that bad and this again another angle in the front some more aerial views it's a nice little view um obviously it's in downtown a little bit so you're gonna have cities and more cities on the side let's look at the price so this one is cheaper because it's definitely older uh, you and the distance to the station is already 10 minutes the shojaku station and it's 23 years old so 10 13 years older than the last place we looked at and this one's to buy for this 19 million 800 thousand yen or 198 thousand dollars so not bad it's it's definitely reduced price but i mean you're looking at another 10 years older and the overall land is definitely less land so the other one is 70 so it's less there and the house is a little bit bigger overall but you know it's older the location doesn't seem as good uh it's older neighborhood five sldk so 
this five rooms, a storage space, I believe it is. I'm going to have to double check on that. And our living room, dining room, and kitchen is definitely not too bad. You have smaller land, bigger house because it's taller. And this general all over. It's not bad. It's a little on the old side. Comparing the two, it, and it's definitely in this area. So we saw that large field there. And it's, I believe it's around here or even in this building. It doesn't match all exactly, but it's in this area. You can see the buildings there. If I leave a link below, do you want to check it out yourself? Go through this with me and definitely leave comments, feedback below. Exactly what you find interesting and not interesting. What would be more interesting to find out below? All right. Then we have the Showa Cho house, Showa Cho. So this one is interesting. Two floors, a little, little, little more of a driveway in this. Um, a lot of them don't have. So we have some of the tatami mats, a lot of wood flooring, and I'm not sure what type of flooring that is. It could be wood, but this little area is highlighted. I'm not sure what that means. We'll take a look at it and see if we can suss what that is. All right, we have stairs going up. We have bathroom or toilet, toilet, bathroom, right here. All in all, not too not too bad little house. So let's take a look. Uh, uh, this one, unfortunately, I looked up on Google. It, it looks like they still have tenant in it, or somebody living in it, and shall we say? So you can't get any pictures. So this is what it looks like on the the website, and they're trying to sell it. It's literally just a whole bunch of pictures of the front of the house and that's pretty much it and zoom in on that and okay so this one is the distinct advantage because the distance to the station is kind of ridiculous it's a two minute walk to the jr suite station but it's 30 years old almost that is definitely a detractor and because it's so close to the station the price is kind of a little kind of ridiculously high now let's look at this. So our price is 39,800,000 yen or 398,000 dollars. You know, almost $400,000. Now land is a little bigger with our 90.26 meters and the house is 96.12 meters. So you get a few six, there's not much height in there and that's okay and but this one i know exactly where it is based on the map because i used that to get the google image of it and it looks like a nice little property very close to the station which is immediately attractive if you want to rent or buy anything in japan it's usually very close to a station a popular station with a lot of amenities this particular jr suite station has a lot there's a mall right there a whole shoten guy or shopping district it's a four ldk Unfortunately, no pictures on the inside, but I imagine it needs some major renovations and overall because they won't let you in there. If there's anybody in the property living there at the time, they will not let you, for real estate perspective, go in and inspect the property. So if you're buying this place to rent out and there's already a renter in it, you cannot go in there to look at the state that this property is in. It's kind of weird and kind of strange, but that is what it is. Japan law go figure all right so this is the exact location of this house is a really close right here on this other side right over here is the station you can see the tracks there uh, it's not too close to the tracks where you're gonna hear it all the time but it's a really short walk to the station to nice so this house is I'm gonna call this the gone house because when I looked it up and I first started prepping this video it was there I was looking at it and by the time it was there it was gone it was gone in a few days so well that's what it is uh, we got some nice layouts here and unfortunately I couldn't get in to find the location or some good inside image but we have the basics here you have this kitchen layout for some reason they have that all pulled out like that which kind of makes it worse like I said, some of these people are not taking good pictures. Unfortunately, it's not really centralized. They have an MLS platform, this multiple listing service, but they don't allow like anybody to have on it. So that's kind of an issue. Uh, nice little bathroom. It looks to be uh, recently updated. Everything looks clean. 
looks at it so obviously somebody decided to snatch this one up and let's look at why they would look at this. this is particular property was kind of on the cheaper side but it's 23 minutes from kishibe station which is definitely a downer and then it's 49 i'm sorry 39 years old this house 39 years old almost pushing 40 eh, that's why it's cheap like you buy it for 12 million eight hundred thousand yen or 128 thousand dollars you know that, that's not bad but it's definitely old now is this company just going to come in and renovate it that distance to a station probably not they're probably just going to hold on to it or somebody's bought it to live in it just hold on to it until uh the land's okay is 78 meters uh the house is about 79 so approximate land usage they probably got two stories by the looks of it and uh sweet to city sai sa ta su ki ga o ka mi minami all right for ldk it looks like a nice place very on the cheap side because it's super old and super far away from the station we're going to find this a general theme now this coming up is our little triangle house number five this one is the most interesting one i've looked at and i went there took some pictures and looked at it myself see what i can do with this particular little it's a very very small property so this is this little triangle property so we see here this very very old house uh, it's, it's kind of ridiculously old how this is but it would probably need to be completely demolished and then at that point you have these two little porch areas here and here which are obviously not structurally sound to say the least would have to be taken down as well because all of this this fence right here and it shows a little bit easier so this fence going along here would cut off these two and this is the front of this property it's a very little triangle type property uh i want to say they say it's the 17 square meters i'm assuming that's with these two porches considered in the meter in the space but it is definitely not it's not big we're going to say that and it has two floors there's a few things i can see working on so if we look here this would be the new so this fence would probably go through you'd have to chop these two off and it's li very limiting down the amount of just workable area on this this property is almost 40 years old the only real positive to this is it's relatively cheap it's not definitely not really cheap so it's one pretty close to a station it's six missions six minutes to toyotsu station it's a six minute walk to this one it's about six or seven minutes walk to suita station it's 40 years old the building needs to probably be come down and the price of three million five hundred yen now it was interesting when i first looked at this property and while i walked through it was only three million yen they upped it by this 500 500 000 yen but but I don't know. They're asking a lot of money for a really small. So the land is only 17.63 meters. Now they say the house is the same. I'm going to have to question that. I don't know how they're getting that value. When it just doesn't. The, the, the space isn't there, I guess. Unless it's. So they're doubling the height. and then the, on the I don't know how they're coming to that. But it would be need to be torn down. Probably completely or strip down to the walls itself it has if it has a concrete maybe it could be reused the only thing i could just, i have the links down below exactly where this is and the website all this information is provided and then nice has a little map and everything but looking at this is a great little property we got a nice reasons it's small it's pretty close it's 40 years old the building had to be torn down the price is relatively cheap it's super close it's very very close i'm going to show you here in a little bit how close it is to these train tracks and i'll show you here in a little bit exactly how close i taped it and videoed it while this train was going by and it's ridiculous how close <laughs> Now 
which is kind of loud but it's not too bad um the layout it looks like it's a triangle there's a set of stairs and there's a little triangle at the top i don't know if there's any plumbing in this building or what it is but it would probably only thing i can come up with real use that would maybe make some profit is if you stripped it out put some like plexiglass walls on it and allowed it for like a little garden area with a couple vending machines in there where somebody could stop by and have some snacks or that drinks and just sit and enjoy the garden and that's the only three really people think i could weigh of making any money off this particular little piece of property uh, maybe vending machines or something automated where you don't have to be there that's pretty much it if you can come up with a good solution for this little property please leave it a comment below with that thank you for being neko nation japan this is jeremy signing off i hope you enjoy this real estate a little station hunt for a deal i want to try to meet this every week and see how it goes thank you bye bye